G'day, um, so I've just finished these five paintings here and they go into a little gallery in Victoria named Seaview Gallery in a little town, a um, little seaside town called Queenscliff, beautiful little spot. Um, so I'm, I'm newly represented by uh, Seaview Gallery and so I just wanted to show you the first five paintings that I'm, that I'm installing down there. Um, yeah, so let's start with this one here beside me. I'll bring it up on screen now. Um, it's called Escape the Light. Um, just a, a, a little bit different in, in composition of um, how I've, how I've, what I've done with the, the color down the bottom. Sort of left it, I've left it very not unpainted, but because it, it is a grey, it's not a white and it's not raw canvas or anything. Um, and yeah, just real beautiful deep um, turquoises and sort of pathalo blues and greens up, up through the sky. And then sort of juxtaposed against this contrasting um, you know, these red ochres and these sort of rusty sort of colours that really go well together. Um, it's quite beautiful. So the second one I want to show you here is um, called Follow the Ocean. Uh, it's, it's part of uh, my Elevated series. So the Elevated series is, is the, landscape, the seascapes, landscapes, studies that I'm doing of um, looking down on, on the landscape. So on the coastline and reef breaks and all that sort of thing. Um, this one's, as you can see, it's just, I'll bring it up on screen now, is uh, just an, a nice composition of, of a pretty simple beach break, but it's, you know, it's got that inshore gutter, it's got the, the interesting sort of sections through the, um, through the part where the wave is broken and sort of coming into shore. And... Um, so here's another one uh, called Deep Waters. This is a lot like, oh, well not a lot like, but sort of a play on um, the one that I did about this time last year called Deep Blue Dream. Um, similar sort of concept to it in the, in, I guess in composition, but you know, the wave's different, the colors are different, you, you know, th there's quite a few different elements to it. It's just sort of a, you know, an expansion on that, I guess. Um, I can see this one being quite popular, the wave, especially for surfers and people who understand you know, waves and that sort of thing. It's, it's got a lot of depth to it, a lot of, um, you know, it's quite a solid looking sort of a wave. Um, yes, yeah, so I really like this one. All right, this one here I've named Salty Skies. So this is one of the, the studies that I'm doing with really sort of drawn back, minimalized, um, compositions but like a super subtle sort of um, wave in them and I find them really interesting and a lot of people have been um, giving me feedback that, that these ones are their favorite you know their favorite um, compositions so similar to um, sinking in the sea um, what else was there every new beginning um, in closing time, um, yeah, I really, I really enjoy doing these ones. They're a lot harder than they look. Um, I'm not sure why that is. They just are. So the last one that I want to show you is actually here behind me. It's called um, Summer Dreams. Very different to the to the other four in um, color, obviously color um, palette very warm, very bright, um, sort of excites different senses, whereas the other ones are very calming, um, quite moody. This one's, you know, a bit of a celebration. Um, and I really love painting these, these bright ones. So that's the five paintings. If you want to have a look at them individually, they're all on my website. Um, the links are in the description. If you want to inquire about any of them, you can contact myself or uh, sea View Gallery, which is where they are on display and for sale. Um, you can 
contact them, their details will be in the description as well. Uh, just a little bit more about them, they're all uh, linen, so Belgian linen, stretched on uh, hoop pine, so sustainable, sustainably sourced um, pine. Um, they're all quite large, I think Salty Skies is the smallest, but even it's uh, quite large, so have a look in the, the painting descriptions for the actual sizes. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.